All right, a series that premiered last week and uh, kind of blew my mind. Today we're talking episodes four through six. Let's do it. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick review of episodes four through six of Arcane. Again, a series that is establishing itself as a force to be reckoned with on Netflix. We're going to talk about it. I need your thoughts down below. How did you feel about this batch of episodes? And if you're familiar with the lore, I would really love to know your thoughts. Let's talk about it. And starting out with episode four, with Piltover prospering from their tech, Jace and Victor weigh in on their next move. And a familiar face reemerges from Zahn to wreak havoc. So yes, in this season, Jace and Victor, they are slowly making more and more breakthroughs with their Hextech research, even though you get that sense of, at least in episode four, that Heimerdinger is kind of, well, obviously slowing their progress, but kind of halting their momentum of what they're being able to do right now, uh, creating something that they believe is going to continue to change lives for the better. So that's a very, uh, at first, a very similar storyline to things we've seen before, but it becomes more and more intense as the episodes progress. And then you have Powder, who has been taken by Silco, while Vi is being dragged off by Marcus. And there is a time jump in this season as we return to Piltover and Zahn just in time for the Progress Day celebration, the 200th anniversary of Piltover's founding. And again, it's one of those things where we are not going to embrace or accept the status quo. We are going to push as many things as we possibly can to make changes to this world. But this time, our characters are a lot older, right? So we see very different versions. Things have clearly changed. Sisterhoods have been uh, almost torn apart. And it's tragic in nature, but it's also just handled so epically uh, that you don't mind all of the action, suspense, and intensity that comes from uh, so many of the relationships established with characters that I thought were built up so well in the first three episodes, but just as well in episodes four through six. I was really digging the storylines here. Don't need to hit on the animation, right? If I sit here and tell you, oh, the animation is incredible, the art style is wonderful, you know that by now, but let me tell you, this time around, with these three episodes, they get more of an opportunity to go grand scale, right? Episode one, we kind of started in the trenches, and we got to explore a little portion of this place, but this time around, we're getting all of these amazing and immaculate shots showcasing the landscapes, the aesthetics, the set pieces, if you will, even though it's an animated show. It doesn't, doesn't feel like an animated show. It feels real, uh, but oh my god. Episodes four through six bring some of the most spectacular visuals I've ever seen. I'm going to keep repeating myself for all of the episodes I've ever seen in an animated show. It's incredible. And it just, it elevates the story that's already really good to another stratosphere, right? The color grading, all of that. It just looks wonderful. So the visuals, check. The direction, check check. Let's get back to the story. And remember, initially there was some hesitation about using this magic, but Piltover, uh, they've, <laughs> they've kind of turned the tides just a little bit. There's a celebration. Crowds are joining in uh, for Progress Day, and Jace is having to give a speech in Episode 4, but at the same time, when we go down to the docks, the Fireflights, they show up. They're trying to track down the Shimmer, burn everything to the ground, and Powder is kind of showcasing her skills uh, in that first episode back. We get an idea as to who she was right off the bat, and it was pretty incredible, not only hand-to-hand -hand combat, but her skills within, you know, trying to take down... I, I won't get too deep into spoilers, but oh my god. But then we start to see what her actual weakness is. It's still that relationship with Vi, and... I love the way that was handled, the emotion that kind of spawns from that and kind of where that goes throughout these three episodes. It was really well done. You also have something happening with Victor here. His health is kind of on the decline in this portion of the season. And on the other side of things, you have Jace's story, which isn't as deep or maybe emotional as I thought it would be. We're dealing much more so with uh, politics and how we're going to quote-unquote change the world, but I think the emotion comes from some of these other storylines like Powder. She's spending these years feeling guilty and, and almost abandoned, which you get that sense, and Silco is doing everything he can to kind of 
play with that and manipulate her emotionally, which you see uh, on display here in the first episode back. And I found that to be one of the more intriguing storylines this time around. But I mean, all the storylines I thought worked really well this time around, from Vi's to Caitlin's to uh, Marcus and kind of the task force being left up to him. Caitlin is a very compassionate person that is on full display here. And then the political turmoil that uh, some of these factions are in becomes much more intriguing than you anticipate because I just say that out loud and it's like, oh, okay, well, the show starts to get boring. That's not the case. It's always intriguing whether you're in the midst of an incredible action scene with hand-to-hand -hand combat, utilizing all of these mystical things to battle with, or just having a really good conversation because the dialogue is so well... Uh, just well written and the stories interweaved beautifully between all of that. So while I don't know if episodes four through six had the wow factor of wow, I wasn't expecting this to be good because I was expecting it because episodes one through three uh, were so good. But I will say four through six did just as good of a job uh, at just making me more invested. And I am, I mean, I am just dying. To see the last three episodes. So my question for you guys is, what is your favorite episode thus far? Who is your favorite character? And are you excited for the series to come to an end? Oh, I can't even, I can't even say that, all right? I hope we get so much more of Arcane after the next three episodes, but I can't wait. I need you guys down below. Again, do you play League of Legends? Are you familiar with the source material? Are you enjoying this show. Hey, we just hit 100,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you guys so much. If you are not subscribed, that would be awesome. Come with me on this journey to watch more Arcane next weekend <laughs> and review everything I possibly can on streaming services. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.